Hey guys, Aaron from PhoneDog.com here. I'm hiding behind the camera. How's it going? Sup? And I'm here with the Google Nexus S or Samsung Nexus S, depending on what you want to call it. It's Google's second device. And this video, the purpose of this video is to focus solely on the improvements in Gingerbread or Android 2.3, uh, which is what comes on the Google Nexus S. If you want to see the unboxing, be sure to check that out on PhoneDog.com or at YouTube.com slash PhoneDog. This is just software related, so let's jump into it. Let's take a look at some of the improvements in Android 2.3. First of all, you know, it's a whole new... Change-wise, it's, no, it's not huge. You know, there aren't a huge a number of differences between Android 2.2 and 2.3. It's a lot of minor things. Most notably, a new UI theme uh, that's been redesigned slightly. And you can see, you know, you can see it across the board in small things from the uh, notifications bar. You can see uh, the T-Mobile colors, or the color behind T-Mobile, where it says new voicemail. Black down here, a darker gray, and then kind of white. So instead of that just bland gray background, there are some uh, color changes on the notification bar. And you can see up there at the top where signal strength is, the data indicator, battery life indicator. You can see that's changed on Android 2.3 as well you know 3g and green or 3g in the uh, signal strength indicator are green battery life is a uh, vertical versus horizontal and the clock is missing the pm the trademark uh, pm that's found on froyo the smaller pm at least on the bottom the dock is pretty similar to a stock build of android 2.2 with the exception of colors the uh, phone app or the phone icon rather the web icon are both colored so not a lot of changes as you can see in the app drawer uh, you know pretty similar on that front very similar if not the same as uh, Android 2.2 or Froyo where some of the real changes come in let's take a look at messaging for example and you can see brand new Android keyboard the keys are a little bit more square a little bit less tall and uh, you know for me it's a trade-off it's a 50-50 thing I don't actually and, and maybe this is just because I got the device today I actually don't care for uh, for the keyboard when comparing it to the Android 2.2 and you know in past Android keyboards. You know, for me, I like the uh, the taller, narrower keys, but you can see, actually, that's pretty boring. Let's change that up. Let's go back to my favorite, the quick brown fox. And you know, for me, I had to enable vibrate uh, in the settings because I just couldn't navigate very well without it. The quick brown fox jumped over the Nexus S. So you can see I typed um, the wrong, it's YHR instead of the. Let's go over to it. We're going to select the word, and you can see the new uh, the new thing here in Android 2.3. We can highlight. Go back here. Let's undo that. We can highlight. We can select a specific word, and we can expand as well. So you can use this multi-touch screen. So you can use both of those and I expand out and you can delete it all at once so very cool on that front so it's a nice keyboard all in all and that's what it looks like in portrait mode you can see in landscape mode here's what it looks like it's a decent improvement you know maybe it's one of those things that will grow on me after three or four days of using the device uh, and you know, again really getting used to it but for me I prefer at least right now prefer the older Android keyboard let's take a look at the widgets and the uh, and the wallpapers out of the box you get uh, a couple of cool widgets. You get the Google Voice widgets pre-installed on this, obviously because it's a Google Experience device. But you get your typical power control, and I've installed a few apps, so you're seeing those in there. But the newest version of YouTube widget for that, power control, as I said, news and weather, which is something we saw on Android 2.2 or you know implemented on Android 2.2. Very cool. One of my favorite Google widgets. You can see up here I have the weather. I can click on it. I can see the seven-day forecast once it loads. And I could scroll over and see my top stories, U.S., sports, entertainment, and more. So pretty cool on that front. So a couple new live wallpapers, or a couple new wallpapers, period. Uh, let's jump into those. Live wallpapers. And you can see, you know, the microbes is a new one. We'll take a look at that. New wallpaper there. And then the Nexus one, even though the name sounds the same, it's a slightly revised version of the Nexus that you remember from the Nexus one. So a little bit different. Slight change there. We'll set that as a wallpaper. Why not? I have the screen set on. We'll just we'll, we'll kill the battery. We'll make it a fun thing. So I just had to point out while I'm thinking about it, there's this pretty cool, uh, on the transitions front, a pretty cool transition when you power the device off. Instead of just turning off, it's almost like a little TV uh, or HBO type thing. Click it. See how it turned off. Bam. So it kind of cuts down and then shuts off with that little white line. You can see there. So pretty cool on that front. A couple of new programs. You know, it's a stock Google device with a uh, stock build of Android 2.3. So the program, on the program front, minus Google Earth 
and uh, a couple other Google programs, it's pretty much a stock build. You can see that uh, Tags pre-installed the uh, Nexus S supports NFC or near field communication, and I'll show you how that works in just a second, but there's that. And then there's the downloads app as well, or the downloads folder where you can go in and see some of the things that you've downloaded and you can sort those obviously by size. Now on the topic of that, you can see, and actually it works out well for this device because it's a super AMOLED display, you can see that uh, the menu at the bottom, manage apps, wallpaper, notifications, things like that, that menu is now black and it carries across most of the device, or excuse me, all of the device. So when you go into the browser, you can see those are black as well. Now that works on two fronts. One, it's a, you know aesthetic uh, upgrade or aesthetically pleasing, if you will. On the other hand, because this is a super AMOLED display, dark colors can serve battery life. So you can see that uh, long term, not going to make a huge difference, but that will uh, conserve battery life, even if it's a few minutes. You know, who knows? You may use, need a few minutes to make a phone call, and that uh, that that'll conserve it. Let's take a look at the tags here. And Google was nice enough to send over. Special thanks to Google, by the way, for hooking us up with the uh, Nexus S unit, but they were nice enough to send over a Google pamphlet here with a uh, NFC chip on the inside. So when it gets close, you can see new tag collected and it's pointing me to the YouTube site and to the browser. So we'll click on that and load up in the browser. So pretty cool. Again, not something that's widely used in the United States, at least right now in the next three to five years. As uh, Google said when the device launched, they're trying to future-proof it and NFC is just one way of moving towards that. You know, you see a lot of uh, aesthetic changes in Android 2.3 versus 2.2 or any of the past Android versions. You see, for example, when I scroll up and down in the settings, the little orange bar that appears at the top and kind of fades out into the black background, just to let me know I've reached the top and the bottom of the device. You see a lot of those across the board in 2.3. You know, let's go to messaging, for example. We'll click on how are you. You can see that the text is highlighted orange and the, uh, the corrections or the potential corrections below that are orange as well. It's kind of an orange and black color scheme going on in Android 2.3. A little bit of a change on that front. Before we sign off, let's take a look at the browser just to, uh, and this really isn't an Android 2.3 thing, but let's take a look at just some of the speed differences. See how the pinch to zoom works and uh, kind of a preview for the full review. We'll open up phonedog.com. You know, my testing that I've done just today, pinch to zoom, you know, there's a little bit of a lag, but not much. And overall, I've been pretty pleased with it. You know, it's running flash, obviously. And uh, once the page loads, you can see the pinch to zoom is pretty fast with maybe a little bit of lag, but not much. Double tap to zoom in. Whoops. Double tap to zoom in. Works just fine. And then pinch to zoom in and out on that front. And again, as I said before, all of the menus are, uh, are black now instead of that kind of drab gray that was on Android 2.2 and past versions. Much more coverage to come of Android 2.3 or Gingerbread on PhoneDog.com and much more coverage to come of the Google Nexus S or Samsung Nexus S on PhoneDog.com as well. We'll have reviews, written reviews, and I'm sure a dog fight in there somewhere, so be sure to keep it locked on the site. Also be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away up to 100 iPads and you can pick between an iPad, a Blackberry Playbook, or a Galaxy Tab, so you have a choice on which tablet you want if you're the winner. Very cool, and it's one of several sweepstakes we're doing on Facebook in the coming days, coming weeks, coming months, so be sure to like us. Facebook.com slash phone dog, and follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron, with any questions you have about the Nexus S or any other device that I'm reviewing. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked on phonedog.com for continuing coverage. See you next time.